second break now with Jake Doyle. He's forced to go backwards though to Derek Keane, who in turn goes back to Keeney. And Keane Moore gets his first touches of the game. But his clearance is charged down by Max Matta, touches it down for Barlow. Barlow takes a touch and he just delays on the ball, delays the strike, it's pushed away, and UCD can clear their lines. Massive chance there it for Sligo Rovers. The Rovers have plenty of men in the box for him to aim at. Ball comes in. Matta gets a header into the back of the net. It's that man, Max Matta, once again. Great goal, Donald. With his eighth goal of the season, Max Matta remains at the top of the goal scoring charts for Sligo Rovers. Caelan Barlow floated the ball straight onto Max Matta's head and he just knocked it down into the back of the net. Sligo Rovers won, UCD nil, and Rovers couldn't have asked for a better start than that running. Absolutely, Donald. Yeah, you can, as you mentioned there, ideal start. Barlow, we know what he can do from set pieces, and Matta, you know. He's well able, he can rise as high, and it's, it's, it's a fantastic header, like, you know, as I mentioned there, Mata is, he's a physical presence, he can move to, but certainly, we can watch it here again, Mata ball into the, great ball in from Barrow. Just and lofted it in there, right onto the front post, and Mata rising highest to knock it down into the back of the net with four minutes on the clock here. It's Sligo Rovers 1, UCD nil, and we're back underway here. Jack Heaney now in the heart of the UCD defence. Launches one out to that left-hand side once again. And there's a no rush to track James. Still with Dempsey. Comes as far as Jake Doyle on the edge of the box. It's around Nando Pinacker who pulls him back. It's with Alex Nolan now in the box. Nolan gets it back onto his left foot. Has a strike away. Great save from Luke McNichols. Comes to Derek Keane. Or Brendan Barrow should say he got the strike on that. But Nando Pinacker was on hand to block the shot there. Ball rolls out for a throw-in to UCD. In line with the Sligo Rovers box here on their right. Great opportunity there for UCD. Donald, like, you know, Alex Nolan, great player. Cuts inside there. And a good save by McNichols. Glenn Dan Norris dangerous. on his way, but the ball comes through to Jake Doyle. Good switch of play from Doyle to find Alex Nolan in space here on the left-hand side. He's making his way towards the Rovers' box. Plays in Brendan Barr here on the right-hand side, but his cross is way too close to Luke McNicholas. He'll catch that one with Big ease. Big diagonal switch from Orlando Pinacker finds Fabrice Hartman. Lovely touch from the winger to kill it and send Caelan Barlow on his way down the right-hand side. Reverse ball finds Fabrice Hartman steaming into the box. And he gets it back on his left foot, gets the strike away and Great rolls goal. it into the back of the net. What a, goal. what a move from Sligo Rovers. Fabrice Hartman's second goal of the season. His second goal here in the showgrounds. Another assist for Caelan Barlow. That's two for him tonight alone. Sligo Rovers two, UCD nil. And that's what John Russell wants to do right here, Ronan. Oh, absolutely, Don. Great goal. Great, great goal. Great bit of play from Barlow, has to be said. And for Brees Hartman, now that's what he does cuts inside on that right hand flank. He's left footed, he, he shifts to shoot a few times, but then when he gets the shot away, it's, it gives Keane Moore no chance. Great, great goal, Donald. And I suppose it's, it, it was, it's, it's deserved, really. Absolutely, Sligo Rovers lead, double their lead here on 25 minutes thanks to Fabrice Hartman's second goal of the season. We'll just take another look at it here. You can see the combination play there between Barlow and Fabrice Hartman. Lovely little one-touch football and then Fabrice Hartman, while well, he was off on his way, it was, and he shifted it back onto his left boot and rolled it into the bottom leg. Ball now on the ball for Sligo Rovers. Back to Fabrice Hartman. First time ball into the box finds Will Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald gets a strike away. Oh. Oh, just took a deflection on the way out. I think it's gone out for another corner. That was uh, certainly uh, a, a different routine, Donald. You know, you said you were surprised, and I suppose John Russell probably isn't surprised. That's what he, that's what he worked on during the week. But uh, a chance it's once Caelan again to, just to get outside the UCD up. box, lays one off to Bulger. But again, it's Kieran Behan there defending. But Bulger still has it, brings it to the touchline, and floats the ball to the back. Sigmund is there, knocks it down. Ball. Well defended though by Jack Keeney. Ronan, you were calling for a handball there, as were some of the fans here in the main stand. But the ball bounces out for another corner to Sligo Rovers. Great bit of play there from Greg Bulger. Got in behind, you know. Great, kind of different ball into the ball, kind of chipped it forward, and, and Matta got ahead on it and looked at the tail off the shoulder there of a UCD player. And uh, I don't know, we've seen them. Puts it right in the middle. Who's there? Mando Pinacker gets ahead on it this time. Fitzgerald keeps it in, knocks it back across the time. Now Matta gets another oh. touch on it. But again, Ooh. just can't keep the header on target this time, putting it wide of the right hand post. And he's getting closer and closer to his second goal here, Ronan. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he, he, he knows that he, he wants that second goal. and we see a great bit of great corner to the box and approach half time you know, here I in the showgrounds. Behan floats on towards the middle of the six yard box. Good strong punch on it though from Luke McNicholas. Comes to Mark Dignan who lines up a strike and the ball rolls all the way through and into the back of the net. And UCD pull a goal back right on the stroke at half time. Fantastic strike from Mark Dignan just to chest it down for himself and arrowed one into the bottom right corner. But Sligo Rovers will be awful disappointed to concede a goal in that manner, Ronan. Oh, disappointing indeed, Don. You know, ball into the box. It was dealt with only as far as Dignam and you know, going into the game, so I thought myself, you know, tonight, keep a clean sheet, that'll go a long way to the victory, and 
that's another goal conceded though, and that's 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 what eleven games now without a clean sheet and you know Dignam you can't get away from Dignam's strike. A great strike on the ball and past Mac Nicholas, but a, a very disappointing from a Sligo Rovers. Ball out to Branifalk here on the right hand side. Rovers playing some lovely football here. It's back with Greg Bulger. Bit of space opens up ahead of him. Lovely ball from Bulger finds Max Mato. Oh, what a chance for Sligo Rovers and Ronan. What a goal that would have been passing and moving of the hot to out of the top drawer from Sligo Rovers. Excellent ball there from Greg Bulger to find Max Mato in the box. And again, he just couldn't keep the header on target. Oh, great ball. Great, great, great chance there, Don. You know, we were wondering what Bulger was doing. Great now for the next couple of minutes anyway. Barlow just knocks the ball out to him. And what can Fabrice Hartman do now with space on the right hand side? Gets the ball into the box. And so now more and he just gets a first time shot. I took it away from Max Mata. Big chance there again for Sligo Rovers, but just a little bit of a tame effort there, Ronan, from Niall Moran. Yeah, Niall Moran wouldn't be known for his goal scoring. Um, finds himself in probably an unfamiliar position there. And the ball just came to him. He got a, he got a toe Big to it. And uh, Falk, who sends it down the wing for Fabrice Hartman. Dempsey keeping a close eye on him, but Hartman leaves him for dust, as he does to Daniel Norris as well. Still with Fabrice Hartman. And still with Fabrice Hartman. Gets a strike away, loops up and into yes. the back of the net. Yes! Fabrice Hartman has his second goal with the aid of a huge deflection to loop it up over Key and Moore. But Sligo Rovers won't care about that. They've got their third goal this evening. Fabrice Hartman will give him the benefit of the doubt and has say he has a second. But it's Sligo Rovers 3, UCD 1. Oh, they won't care indeed, Dolan. Yeah, that third goal is so important. 2 1 up is, is, is a dangerous lead, as I mentioned. And, you know, Hartman there, you know, he did what he does best cut inside, give defenders all sorts of nightmares. What's he going to do? takes the shot, deflects off a UCD player and loops into the back of the net and uh, I suppose Hart Hartman will claim it um, it mightn't be his the dubious goal the panel might be out but uh, looking at the replay here Ronan I'm not sure if it actually did take a deflection it looked like Hugh Hartman might have just scooped it up with his left it back. boot we'll see it is in the box comes to Will Fitzgerald on the edge of the box but again mm. well defended by Brendan Barr Fitzgerald lives one off to Reese Hutchinson Hutchinson gets into the box again on the left-hand side. He looks to float it in and oh, just rolls it across the six-yard box. Radosiewicz was there, just couldn't get a touch on it. And the ball just whistles out of play for a goal kick to UCD. Yeah, Hutchinson there, great for it. Get in behind and... UCD still have plenty of men up there. Greg Bulger looks to win it back, but Beaton does really well there to flick away from both of them. He likes to line one up but that was straight down the throat of Luke McNicholas who grabs it and the referee Paul McLaughlin blows the final whistle and that will be that here in the showgrounds. Sligo Rovers 3, UCD 1, the final score here in the showgrounds and Ronan Flanagan, well, what a game we here are. from the showgrounds as Sligo Rovers see off UCD with a 3-1 victory, some dazzling goals on display. I hope you enjoyed that performance as much as we did here this evening from Ronan Flanagan and myself, Donald Ryan here. It's good night.